Starting in 1944, Odebrecht has served communities around the world as their partner in growth. In our 65 years of operation, we've grown to more than 90,000 employees from 54 different nationalities, working in more than 20 countries. While construction is at our core, the Odebrecht Group is a diversified international leader composed of seven distinct companies that act in many different fronts. From oil and gas and environmental engineering to petrochemical and bioenergy development. Our subsidiaries include Brascom, the largest producer of thermoplastic resins in the Americas and the developer of the world's first certified green plastic made from ethanol, and ETH Bioenergy that produces, sells, and distributes ethanol, bioenergy, and sugar. Created in 2007, ETH is the world leader in ethanol production with 800 million gallons annually. Our engineering and construction services have paved the way for sustainable development and growth on five continents. Odebrecht is the largest engineering and construction firm in Latin America and the number one builder of hydroelectric power plants in the world. Our strength is drawn from an entrepreneurial culture based on the spirit of service. We deliver solutions that engage and energize the economies of the communities surrounding the projects we build. Infrastructure development such as roads, tunnels, power plants, ports, and airports is what we do best. In the United States alone, Odebrecht has delivered more than 55 projects for federal, state, and local governments, as well as private developers. Whether it is our work on the expansion of Miami International Airport, our participation in the rebuilding of New Orleans, or the construction of miles of roads and bridges, Odebrecht contributes to the building of communities in the United States. Among the countless partnerships we have cultivated in over 20 years of operation in the United States, one of the most collaborative started in the early 1990s with the construction of a cargo building for American Airlines. Over the years, the relationship between the two companies has grown stronger, from the cargo building to the American Airlines Arena and now the Mega North Terminal at Miami International Airport. This one mile long terminal is one of the largest expansions of an existing U.S. airport in aviation history. Odebrecht has been chosen to lead the construction of this amazing American Airlines hub. This synergetic partnership has taken on other dimensions as well. The preservation of two historic murals by Brazilian artist Caribe is another example of the collaborative dynamics between the two companies. American Airlines donated the murals to Miami-Dade County and Odebrecht invested in a project to salvage, restore, and transport them from New York to Miami International Airport. The Odebrecht commitment to the spirit of service goes not only into the communities we serve, but also into communities in need. On January 12, 2010, a devastating earthquake struck at the heart of Haiti. Immediately after the disaster, American Airlines developed a plan of action to help a nation in critical need. In fact, the first commercial aircraft to arrive with humanitarian aid was an American Eagle plane filled with relief supplies. Repairing the airport was another critical task led by American. In coordination with local authorities and in partnership with Odebrecht, an emergency repair plan was quickly developed and immediately implemented. American Airlines, Odebrecht, and more than 100 local workers labored in shifts around the clock to rebuild the airline's Port-au-Prince terminal. Just five weeks after the earthquake, American resumed commercial service to Haiti. Odebrecht and American Airlines have taken a step in helping Haiti get the relief it needed. Now we want to help the community thrive. A new airport will help Haiti into the coming century where its demands for growth will be met. These steps into Haiti's future are well integrated with the original airport's master plan developed in 2007. Our plan will optimize the existing airport's infrastructure and take place in phases so as to avoid major disruptions to the airport's day-to-day -day operations. Demolition will then begin in a west-to-east progression. 
All the debris generated from the demolition phases will be recycled back into the reconstruction process. The second phase begins with the reconstruction of the passenger facility and the addition of two new gates. With the completion of phase two, the airport will have 200,000 square feet and five operating gates. Demolition of existing buildings on the east side of the terminal will take place next, making way for the expansion of the terminal, adding another 200,000 square feet of space along with four more gates, which will bring the gate count to nine. The next round of demolition will take place on the west side during phase five. With the last portion of the original terminal demolished, the expansion will continue on the west side, adding 150,000 square feet and two more gates. The final demolition process will then ensue, allowing for the continuation of the work on the west terminal. This final construction stage will add 200,000 square feet to the terminal and three more gates. Upon completion of this project, the new Haiti International Airport will have 750,000 square feet of new space and 14 gates. The east side of the terminal will remain a potential area for future growth and expansion. Odebrecht and American Airlines are proud to help build this doorway to Haiti's future.